Hey there everybody. Today I thought it might be beneficial to do a quick video to walk you through how to figure out what the different icons are and what data element they represent. So you've got your Garmin Instinct watch, maybe you've got the solar version like I have, and you're pressing the menu button and you're adjusting your watch face. And so I'm going to customize mine and you'll notice that the data elements start blinking and you can scroll through the different data elements. Each watch face is going to give you some different options. Some of the data elements are consistent between the watch faces. Some of the watch faces only allow certain data elements. But regardless, as you start going through here, you notice you might not know what the icon is representing. So for example, there's a heart here. Some of them are pretty self-explanatory, but this one, for a user who doesn't understand what these icons are, it's kind of hard to know what data element you're selecting. What is that? Some of them are pretty self-explanatory. So for example, you know that one is the month and the day of the uh, day of the month. But as you get into some of these other ones, you don't, you know, okay, 532 and it looks like fire or some mountains. What is that? I'm going to show you a quick way you can kind of go see what the icons are that represent those data elements. It's kind of weird if you go to the Garmin website. Oops, let me uh, let me back out of here. If you go to the Garmin website, you would think they'd have a cheat sheet that will kind of show you this, but they really don't. They have a listing of them, but they don't show you what icon represents the data element. But it can be easily done with your watch. All we're going to do is we're going to press the menu button, and we're going to go down to settings and we're going to choose widgets. So not all widgets can be used as a data element, but when you go into the widget listing, you'll see all of the data elements listed there, and it'll show you the icon that represents the item. So for example, solar intensity has this icon. And if you navigate through and scroll down, you'll see, so a minute ago where we saw the heart, that's your heart rate. And you can go all the way through to see what a minute ago we saw the this icon and we saw a number underneath it well that data element was my steps for the day not all of them will show as widgets but if you get to the very bottom and you click on add widget you'll see a full listing of all the ones that you don't have listed as a widget and you can scroll through all of those as well so um, you know for example four is climbed I had a user write on one of my other videos and they were trying to figure out what this icon was. Well, it's the intensity minutes. So as long as you're in the widget screen, you can scroll through any of these items and you can see the icon that represents it. So for example, a minute ago where we saw that icon, we didn't know what it was, it's your altimeter. That's just a quick way to go through your watch and figure out what data element is represented by the given icon. And then you can press back and get back to your main screen. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Pretty quick, pretty easy, but I get a lot of questions on it. So I thought it might be beneficial to show you that. Thanks for watching as always.